few years ago, we, we had a couple decent sized storms that come through and those do cause a lot of challenges for us, but they're not the the Katrinas and the Sandys, right? And that's where we wanna make sure when those do come, we're, we've got it right. Storm surge is an elevated surface of the sea level that is brought with basically the eye of a hurricane, for example. The low pressure center means the water can stack up a little bit higher in elevation and it pushes its way into our rivers, estuaries, streams, and then ultimately our you know, backyard, city streets, and alleyways. That's one of our goals working with them is to get the data into the model and get the model uh, results back out in all the ways that folks are taking in information today. If we can get it to them prior to the, the event happening, that we think can, can reduce a lot of the, the risk and damages and issues that we face when it, when it comes. The schism model developed by Dr. Joseph Zhang here at VIMS, and it's a you know, truly unique open source model that's uh, really kind of community built, We've mostly talked about water quality uh, in conjunction with storm surge. You know, what happens when you have a major storm event flush into the city storm drain systems and what comes back out? I started uh, a developing model about more than 20 years ago. Kizen right now is really a modeling system. It's not just a model. It's a modeling system that covers uh, the circulation, which includes uh, the storm surge, uh, but also includes the sediment transport, ice dynamics, uh, water quality, biogeochemistry, wind wave. The model is really uh, the heart or the engine of the forecast. The model is used for a variety of different influences, from nearshore to far shore to inlands, you know, riverine environments are all capabilities the schism model has. Modeling is increasingly becoming more important. We're recognizing the value it brings to the table. We want to be that coastal community of the future that other cities can come model themselves after. But you need this data, you need these sensors, you need the data analyzed by folks like VIMS and done right. It's really exciting to have this kind of resource this close to our city. I think in the future we probably should prepare for stronger and more frequent storms. Our model can help plan for resiliency, not only for the human populations, but also for the ecosystem. So I'm working with other scientists in Wims and Winnie Mary to use models to study how the future ecosystem will evolve. <laughs>